The S-Class may be the flagship of Mercedes lineup, but the bread and butter of all car companies today is the SUV. So, as proud of the electric EQS sedan as Mercedes is, its taller brother, the 2023 Mercedes EQS SUV, is a bigger deal. Fortunately, the EQS SUV is pretty much what we've been expecting. A spacious, stylish, well-built electric SUV that's a relaxing space to pass the miles. Heck, it'll even hold its own off-road. Granted, it shares some issues with the EQ sedan I drove along the same roads, namely driving dynamics and tech that have plenty of room for improvement. But those will barely register on the radar as problems for people whose top priority is three rows of sumptuous, silent electric luxury. So it's like the EQS, but an SUV. The gist of the EQS SUV is simple. It's a two or three row crossover equivalent to the GLS, with the prestige of the S-Class but extra utility in exchange for some refinement. Available in rear and all-wheel drive, the EQS SUV uses a 107.8 kilowatt hour battery in its floor, which Mercedes guarantees will retain 70% capacity for 10 years or 155,000 miles. Height adjustable air suspension and adaptive damping comes standard, as does 4.5 degree rear wheel steering, which can be upgraded to 10 degrees. The best looking Mercedes EQ, range maximizing aero rules supreme when it comes to EV design. So the EQS SUV looks a bit minivan-ish. That's not a knock, I'd actually call it the best looking Mercedes EQ model out there. The creases in its hood add character to what otherwise be a blob, and its rear proportions benefit from being allowed to balloon out. Somehow, it manages not to go over the top, even with wheels as big as 21 inches. Party of seven. The EQS SUV interior design echoes it of the EQS and EQE sedans, but in a more spacious SUV form, with five and seven seat setups available. Legroom and headroom are adult sized even in the way back on account of the second row's ability to scooch forward without cramping its own occupants. Every row has a multitude of USB C ports, and their heated and cooled seats can lay flat in any configuration. Upholstery is a mix of leather and its surrogates while gorgeous wood adorns a dash and center console with aluminium pinstriping or star accents. The center console itself, however, jammed shut when I left a couple oddly sized items in there. So perhaps keep items stored there to phones, cords, and drinks. It's gonna tech you for a ride. To be clear, there is some great tech in the EQS SUV. There's a full suite of passive safety assists as well as terrific hands-on driving assistance that reacts to changing speed limits and switches lanes on its own when cued with the turn signal. It might even get the hands-free drive pilot software via an over-the-air update one day, too. On the road, in outfit too. Laggy screens and tech bugs aside, though, a full-size luxury crossover's top priority is to provide a quiet, smooth ride, and the EQS SUV definitely delivers that. Floaty but not boaty, it erased the ribbons on the Rocky Mountains rough blacktop, all while cornering respectably for a more than three-ton SUV. It's said to be slightly louder inside than the sedan, but to notice would require, like, working for Mercedes, while few owners will take these off-roading. The EQS SUV performance was surprisingly good. Full disclosure, Mercedes prepped separate demo vehicles with air-down off-road tires unavailable from the factory, though they're the same diameter as the stock tires. Mercedes said the stock rubber could be used, but that you'd suffer more punctures, opposition. As one of the first to arrive in the full-size electric SUV segment, the EQS SUV has few competitors, none of them all that direct. The BMW iX M60, for example, has a completely different emphasis, performance, doesn't offer a third row, and looks absolutely fucking ghastly. Audi's 226 mile e-tron, on the other hand, was a half-baked adaption of an ICE vehicle and occupies one size class small. That leaves the Rivian Roan S and Tesla Model X which themselves aren't entirely analogous either. Sustainability. As of this year, every Mercedes factory as well as its rail logistics, at least in Germany, apparently uses all renewable energy. That goes for the Tuscaloosa, Alabama plant that makes this SUV, and the one that builds its batteries. Mercedes claims the materials used in its EV batteries are audited to guarantee they're responsibly mined and processed, and components or assemblies weighing over 154 pounds are made at least partially from recycled or renewable materials. Over 40% of this car's body shell steel is recycled, for example, cutting down on sea well emissions. Overview. Sustainably built or not, Bell. The EQS SUV is a swab, surprisingly capable full-size crossover that offers one of the luscious electric SUV experiences. Its interior room is plentiful, and it's probably among the most refined drivers, if not the most refined driver, in its segment. 
Here's an argument for the alternatives when it comes to utility or accelerated performance, and I have my gripes with some of its tech. But the Mercedes EQS SUV nails what it needs to. Old world prestige with cutting edge technology is a tough pairing to beat. Especially when OTA updates stand only to make the EQS SUV better. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment. Thanks for watching.